Well, tonight, a call for classroom masks as students return to school. The Ann Arbor School District is urging students and staff to mask up before returning from holiday break on Monday. Superintendent says the district was already dealing with the spike in illnesses before the break. Masks would be worn for two weeks to keep schools from closing. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cass tells us why some parents think it's not enough. So, yeah, I'm you know, concerned, um, I'm frustrated, but we don't have a lot of options. As parents like Andy Brocious are getting ready to send their kids back to school, they're worried about a spike in illness following the holidays. Andy's daughter has had two open heart surgeries and is considered high risk. Moving forward, I'm nervous, uh, but I know that realistically my daughter needs to be in school. You know, we can take her out for a few days, um, you know, when it's at the highest risk. But honestly, my daughter needs the public education. And right now we risk her health sending her to school. With just days before Ann Arbor students return, Superintendent Dr. Janice Swift sent a letter to parents strongly urging students and staff to, quote, wear a tightly fitting mask while indoors for the first two weeks of school following return from winter break, January 9th through January 20th. Parents like Andy feel that's not enough. Encouraging and recommending and strongly encouraging is really not strong enough. That's not going to make the difference. Nationwide, districts in large cities like Boston are also strongly encouraging masks following break, but they too stop short of requiring it. The practice is great, but do I, it's just going to be very hard to implement, I think, with the back and forth of you don't need a mask, now you need a mask. Local ER physician Dr. Ali Shueto feels requiring masks would be hard for districts to implement, but as he sees a spike in flu cases firsthand, he does believe masking works. From a medicine standpoint and a medical standpoint, absolutely using a mask is going to prevent the spread of, of these viruses because they are transferred via respiratory droplets. Around Ann Arbor, others felt masking should remain optional. I don't think it should be required. I, as always, if you feel more comfortable, um, and people want to make it optional by all means, but I don't think that anybody should be required to at this point. Andy's daughter stayed home for the last week before break as a few Ann Arbor schools closed due to illness. But Andy says it's not a long term solution. We need the schools to be safe for students like my daughter. And along with wearing masks and monitoring for symptoms, the district wants parents to report any cases of COVID, RSV or the flu to the district. We have a link on our website, WXYZ.com and how those parents can do that. In Ann Arbor, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News. All right.